what's going on, my PFGs? Six for the Roman numeral here. And hey, we about to get into some damn good old, good old Destiny 2 on that stadia. Checking. Ooh. Uh. Check, check, check. Transferred. Okay, 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 okay. I'm still learning this game quite a bit, but I got the, uh, Wanna at take least a the controls down. The has a lot to and how to go do basic, you know, missions or whatever. But there's still a lot to learn here. But I'm really enjoying this game, though. I am so glad it came free with Stadia because I would have never given this game a chance had it not been. And I would have been missing the fuck out. This game is fantastic, y'all. This game is freaking fantastic. I ain't going to front. It's better than Halo 5 ever, ever was. Ever, 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 ever. I mean, you can just, you know Bungie is behind this game. You know they're all over this game. I, I just didn't feel the same kind of magic in Halo 5 I was looking for as I find here. They just have this level design about them. The, 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 the art, the music is just unmatched, man. The only other franchise I've known to match this, not even like match, but just come close to creating epic worlds and cool ass enemies and shit is definitely not 343. It's, um, uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time even saying the name because it's, it is just that epic. But, um, no, um, it's Retro Studios, man, with Metroid Prime. Only Retro Studios with Metroid Prime has made worlds that were comparable to what Bungie was doing at the time. So hopefully, with Retro holding uh, the future of Metroid Prime in their hands, we'll see something that is beautiful like this. You know, just incredible world design. I mean, they just, they get it, man. They get epicness, you know. So anyway, let me stop uh, awing over this wonderful presentation here. Let's get into some gameplay. Man, I have had some awesome, awesome experiences with some teams here, but I'm not going to lie. The last couple of guys I've been playing with, guys and gals, may they be, have been kind of lackluster. Okay, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this one again because the people I've been playing with recently have just been getting kicked around. So let's go and try this one again. Let's get some good old gameplay. So then I get some good old gameplay. Needless to say, I said the whole ship. Oh yeah, but I've had a couple of um. Hiccups. I'm playing on Wi-Fi. I'm on my Surface Pro 6. And uh, I'm using the Stadia controller as provided. Didn't think I would be comfortable as I am with the uh, Stadia's thumbsticks parallel like the way, the way they are. But man, it is second nature. I'm actually quite happy with it. I still prefer the Pro controller and the Xbox One controller over it. But man, it is definitely a good, good controller. That's for sure. Uh, good quality, buttons are nice and clicky, and responsive, everything's good. I'm definitely not mad at what they've given us. I'll tell you that. Okay, so I'm by myself. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, cool. Okay, we can just look deep in the game here. Slow down, wait for me, buddy. And so the way I'm recording this gameplay is through the, uh, uh, through the, um, uh, Windows 10 Xbox application available. Oh, for real, for real? Going down like that, huh? Okay. Let me get about the way. Yeah, through the application available. You ready? 
Alright, let's go. Damn, son! You got it like that? That's powerful like you. Just one shot that boy. Up, put the up there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I do not remember doing this. Back of homeboy head. And it works fine, the, uh, the recording, anyway. I've, uh... Somebody got ironed out. <laughs> Subtypes out of their hoods. The ones that survived are some tough okay. sons. Somebody either is shooting at somebody far in a distance or has absolutely no aiming. Like, whatsoever.
is on the march. Red Legion? This shit is what live. have they been up to after the war? Getting stomped. The Cabal's seat of power now resides in orbit round Nessus in a giant fish. Point like a motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I can't do a damn thing. Oh my god. Dismantle minds, yes. Or die. Woo! Yeah.
Hell yeah. in front of you just to keep you away. And you survived. <laughs> That's messed up. Trusha waits below. It calls to you. Yes. This is awesome. Oh my god! It's beautiful! <laughs> Looks like the trickster left you a present. I always uh -huh. needed her. <laughs> but she made no! You're in the prison mainframe. The crazy servitor's nest. <laughs> oh, that's up. He's got some grizzled veterans with him. I love it! I love it! An old friend is here. Judgment at hand.
to just our I'm the stock of the Alphabets, the Overland Minotaur. just annihilated a small army to kill one servitor. You have an army? Careful who you threaten. I just wanted to help one of my favorite guardians out. Guy can't do Man. that? I thought this was a new golden age. Be kind to each other. Am what I right? an experience. I'm sorry. You're the sorriest thing I ever saw. What an experience, y'all. Wow. Hey, 6 4 in with 6 4 kills, baby! Hell yeah. What's up, baby? Okay, I'll call. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah! That is the end of the video. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. As you see, I had one little hiccup at the beginning, but what an incredible, incredible, incredible experience it was. My goodness. That was just phenomenal. Phenomenal. I really enjoyed Destiny 2. I'm so, so glad this game came with Stadia. Wow. I mean, I literally would not have given this game a fair shot, and I am blown away. I mean, <laughs> not only at the fact that Stadia is incredible, and if you could see what I'm seeing as far as quality of visuals right now, you would understand that that is just, this is just, and the quality of like gameplay feel and the, the, the amount of lag, how minimal it is, and the, not only that, but the fact that Destiny is a really good game. Like, this, I was sleeping hard on Destiny, yo. And that's terrible because, you know, if the developers, well, maybe it wouldn't matter if it's been the publishers. I don't, think that, I don't want to blame the developers. They were developing this amazing game, this beautiful franchise that they've created. But the publishers, the people Our who are responsible for trying to make sure that the most yeah. money comes out of the games, if they weren't so heavy on the BS, man, I would have been more willing to jump to the experience in the past. But wow, this game is so good. It's so good. But honestly, I'm glad I got to experience this on this platform. This, this is just that much more mind-blowing, you know, because this is an incredible platform. Stadia is so freaking cool, man. If you don't know, now you know. And if you just still don't know, you need to get to know. Uh, honestly, my recommendations for those in Stadia, if, you, if you're not ready to make a financial investment, don't do it. Because it's still early. You have to understand that this is an early access, open beta process or experience, basically. So you're going to have all the, the kinks and everything, and not all the features are going to be available. And of course, you got to pay in. It's a Founders Edition. That's the whole point of naming the Edition Founders or even Premier Edition at this point is basically saying, hey, it's available, ready to play, if you want to pay, <laughs> to get in on this uh, open beta experience. Uh, but I mean, I'd recommend, honestly, uh, just waiting to do January. I mean, a lot of you already got consoles, you know, I even, ha I even have a Nintendo Switch, tons of games on it. The thing is, for me, since I'm in on the Nintendo Switch, games like Destiny aren't available to me. Games like Red Dead Redemption 2 aren't available to me. Games like uh, The Rise of the Tomb Raider aren't available to me. 
you know, games like uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Borderlands 3, uh, Rage 2, those games aren't available to a player like myself. You dig what I'm saying? Play a player. So, Stadia is a perfect opportunity for me, and I like to be on the, on the at the front of everything, you know, as far as technology is concerned. I like to be at the bleeding edge. If I can afford to do it, I'm going to do it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is a perfect opportunity for me to jump in. And also, you know, I want to play at a higher frame rate. You know, I want to play at 60 frames per second in the game. It's running at a beautiful 60 frames per second. You saw the hiccup in the beginning of the game. That's the only hiccup I had. I've been playing hardcore in this mug. I've been playing for hours. And I swear, that's probably like the third hiccup I've had. I've been playing for about two and a half, maybe three hours now. And, uh, like, that's the, the third hiccup I've had. And that was the longest one I've actually experienced that you guys have to see there. Usually it lasts about two seconds. You know, literally. One, two, and it's just cleared up. And it'll go. I hadn't had that bad an experience before um, ever playing a game. So that was, you know, again, that was the first. You're going to have it. I expected it. But, hey, it didn't really ruin the game experience. I had a great time, man. I, I'm having, I'm having, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I'm having so much fun playing Destiny. I just cannot believe how good this game is. I am really blown away. I mean, I've always known Bungie to be great with first special shooters, like I said, at the beginning with Halo. <clears throat> but how much better this experience is. Like I said, I played uh, Destiny 1 a little bit, so I got to feel like, you know, that the game was, you know, it felt pretty good, but, man, this is, this is really good, man. This is really, really, really good, and I am so pleased with, with, <laughs> man. Oh, my God. I'm just going to stop, man. I, I can go on for days right now. But I got to get going. I got a lot of things going on to go ahead and take care of. My wife called me. And she's like, I need you to do this, do that, do that. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> I need to get back to it. Get back to my, uh, my grown man, you know. Uh, you know, uh, enough of the games, right? Got to get back to that that reality. And, uh, you know, be a husband and father. And, man. Until next time, man. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Six foe. Ow. But before, wait, wait, wait. Before I go, if you guys have any thoughts on Stadia, if you guys been playing Stadia, I know you're ready tell me your stories. If you have any questions about Stadia, ask me your questions. If you have any things to say, man, if you gonna, if you want to get on here and just trash Stadia, like you're just a fanboy, it did look, look like crap. This bit look fun. The graphics look horrible. I don't know how you can say that, but if you even want to say it, just go ahead, man. Just go ahead and leave your comment in the comment section below. Let's get into the discussion. I don't care what it is. If you, if you just hate me, you hate my voice, you let me know. I don't care. Just, let's just get this conversation going, man. Me personally, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I've said it already several times, but this is the future right here. You know, you know consoles may never go away. I wouldn't want them to go away necessarily, but this solves a lot of the problems that we're having. Download times, patch updates, firmware updates, uh, hard drive space, all of that. You know, uh, console limitations, which is a really big one. Uh, you know, and being able to play essentially seamlessly wherever you go. You can just pick up where you left off, you know. Um, and personally, I think Honestly, hybrid hardware is the future because it can be used in multiple ways. You can dock it on a, for a television. You can, you know, play it as a handheld. You can dock it on a table. And once that streaming technology comes into play, man, you know that'd be that'd be it right there. So if Nintendo doesn't get it right, then I, I believe that somebody is going to develop that hardware, you know, and say, hey, man, put X Cloud on my shit, put Stadia on my shit. We just want to be the hardware to play all the software. You know all the yeah all the uh, the software services. You know we just want to be that 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 uh, platform, and that's that's the killer right there, man. Uh, I don't think that Nintendo's uh, opening up to to accept something like that. So I see somebody else jumping into Quarry, man, and, and making that hybrid console to you know have all of your subscription services and free services in one place, man. I, I really believe that may be the new wave, seriously, because this right here is not going anywhere, man. And um, for this to be the open beta, not even the hard launch with all the features, and it's already just just playing so beautifully, it's so enjoyable. Where I, I, I honestly, I'm I'm feeling my surface. I've been playing for like three hours straight, man, and this thing is 
it's cool. It's a little warm. I mean, I'm in, I got, I don't have any air conditioning on, so it's, it's got a little, little bitty warmth in it, but just like it's just been on. No fan noise, uh, no super overheating, nothing. It's just, it's just like, it's like I'm playing on my PC, okay. but I'm not. <laughs> it's weird. I love it. I love it. I can't wait till they open up the uh, Android ability to play the games on your Android devices. Um, but I also played it on the uh, on the Chromecast. Played well there too. Um, anyway, man, let me go ahead and get up off here. I gotta get things going, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for new videos, and for my PFGs that have been sticking with me, thank you guys. I really appreciate y'all, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, for the last time, until the next time, peace.